she needs to go to the ER for emergency surgery. Hey Mower Moments fam! Just wanted to get on and give you a quick warning before today's video. It is a lot and it is 100% TMI. Sometimes I post things and I'm like, is this TMI? You guys, this is TMI. So if you're gonna leave a mean comment, just move on to the next video because it's a lot. I've never heard of this. None of my friends have ever heard of this. What we experienced today is gross but 100% real life and happened to our family. And that's what our vlog is, is what happens to our family. So anyways, those of you that wanna move on, welcome to today's vlog. Hold on tight, it was a roller coaster. <laughs> those of you that don't, we love you. That's okay, I don't know why I would wanna know this about someone else's child either. So we'll see you in the next vlog. There's plenty of good ones. Go watch, off the top of my head, go watch Beckham's Room Reveal. I loved that one. There's a lot of them I love. Anyways, you guys, thanks for being here. Sorry to slow you down. See you in a minute. And I started off the year like, we are not going to be victims. We are not going to go to the doctor. We're going to be super healthy. We're sick of these like, we're sick vlogs. I like literally don't even want to tell you this, but I want to have it documented for my future and for my kids' future. So we made it. What's today? 15th. The 15th and our last charge point was on the 31st. So we made it 15 whole days as a family without a giant emergency. We are right now on our way up to We are on our way up to the emergency room. <clears throat> I'm trying so hard not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Palmer, she's saying, Mom, don't cry. So, we've been potty training Palmer, and she's done so good. And this morning, she's like, Mom, my poop's owie. And I went in to look, and it appears that her bowels are, like, sticking that far out of her rectum. Her, like, her intestine. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's bowels. I don't know if it's insides. I don't know if it's intestine. I don't know what it is. But there's something sticking out there that is, um, flesh. And, um, you want to say hi? Hi. Are you doing okay? I think everyone's worried about you. She's just fine. fine. She keeps seeing her tummy hurts. Um, my grandpa passed away from a blockage in his bowels. And then it turned septic and he was gone really quick. And so I think immediately, obviously, based off my past experience, I'm like <gasps> dying. Um, whew. But I am, I, I refuse to be a victim and I refuse to live how we did last year. And so here I am, I, I'm calm, I'm, we're, we're gonna be okay, right? So we're gonna figure out um, what's going on. There was a lot of blood as well. It wasn't just the bowels, so. I told Peyton, run and get dad, tell him it's an emergency. He was up in a minute flat. Like, so grateful he's working from home. And we threw clothes on her and we're out the door. So my sweet friend was supposed to be leaving for vacation today and she came over with the other kids. Whew. But we are um, on our way. I'm a little worried. So we got her tested for the... Pika, pika or pika? We decided it was pika, remember? And he said no, but you guys know like she's eating some weird things. And so a blockage in the bowels, bowels sounds it is a possibility. So I'm just trying to take a deep breath and, uh, yep, take a deep breath and we'll keep you, keep you posted. All right, Palmer. Are you going to be so big? Are you going to be so big? You are so big. I'm so proud of you. How you doing, Lama? I keep telling myself oh, affirmations, oh, saying, I am strong, <laughs> I am brave. Yeah. Mommy, yes. what are you You want, they, I'm they, ready to go, she Are you said. ready to go? Yeah. Okay, uh, almost done-ish. Did they put a cuff on your arm and take your blood pressure? Yeah. How'd that feel? Oh, yeah. You didn't like it? That's okay. Yeah. It just gave you a hug on your arm, right? 
Just kind of give you a little hug. Okay, the doctor will be in in just a second. Oh, is that such a cool bed? The coolest bed ever. Paper bed. There's no back to that one. We're going to be getting our heads sewed up too. Yeah. Whoa! Can you sit on your bum bum? Sit down on your bum. Whoa, whoa, there you go. Look how cool. You want me to spin you? Get ready. Whoa. Hi, Mom. How could you be any cuter? Whoa. You did it! Okay, you take back for the doctor? Okay. You close that drawer? Thank you. She's just cleaning up. Slosh peeping around. Alright. Okay, come sit with mom. We drove all the way up to the emergency room and I was on the phone with my... We've never been to the emergency room, so I was on the phone with the insurance like, which of these hospitals can we go to? And it's like 25 minutes away. We almost get there, and he tells me to go to the one over by our house they just built. That I didn't realize it was like a full on emergency room. So we turn around and start driving that way. Anyways, we called a friend that's a doctor and uh, my mom, and both of them were like, eh, I would go to the pediatrician first. It's probably just hemorrhoids. So since she does not have a fever and she's acting totally fine, thank you. We decided that, okay, we're gonna start with the pediatrician. And if he, like, we're gonna be really upfront. Like, if you want us to go to the emergency room, we want all tests done, but it needs to be done. But um, after taking a minute, like the initial shock, it was like, okay, we can go to a pediatrician probably for this. So anyways, we are at an urgent care, not at the emergency room. And she's acting happy, she's not looking there. So we're just waiting for the doctor. One of two things. This is a rectal prolapse <clears throat> or some type of internal hemorrhoid that um, got pushed out. But based on your description of things, I think it probably was a prolapse. So, what do we do about it? <clears throat> Not a ton. Um, the recommendation is one of a couple of things. You can uh, either do enough Miralax to where she's having bowel movements two to three times a day wow. that are fairly easy, you know, to have. She's not having to bear down or yeah. anything. Just like straight. Basically. Right. Or there is, um, there's some X-Lax chocolate squares that you can mm -hmm. use. Oh, she has yeah, um, but you know, one of the two, just so that she's, you know, having those bowel movements two to three times a day. Well, we are home. How are you feeling? Hi. 
We both need showers. Should we go take a shower? No. No? Yes. Yeah, but what is this? What is this going on right here in your face? What's, what is going on in your face? I got the eye in my hair. Oh, gosh. Are you okay? Ow. Come here. So, we are about to go get in the shower, but JD is back down at work. And I wanted to give you an update on kind of what we found out. So the radiologist and him read the x-rays and it looks like there's no blockage in her bowel. He said they're actually pretty obvious on the x-rays. So that's good. He did say though that her bowels are like full to here. Like she's got a lot of backup. So we need to get it out and we need to do it quickly so that her bowels can heal. So what his diagnosis was or what he said was for her to take laxatives twice a day for the next two weeks um and that will hopefully make it so she never has to strain and <laughs> you are silly so she never has to strain and so that her um bowels can heal so he said he yeah, honestly yeah, doesn't know yeah. i told him i asked him like is this gonna happen yeah. as soon as we yeah. get home? we see it is it clipped on your hair yeah. That's not a good choice. Owie. I bet it's Owie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, come here. Let me put, I'm telling him a story about Palmer. So he said he doesn't know if it's going to happen again. Like, we could go home and it could happen next time she goes to the bathroom. We don't know. The doctor said, have her be on Marilax, X Lax, these chocolate lax. I don't know what they are. All the things so that her bowels will have time to heal by not straining. However, he said, which freaks me out, that if it happens again and doesn't immediately go back in, <clears throat> well, or and it lasts an hour, that she needs to go to the ER for emergency surgery. I'm like, so you could say at any minute I am one hour away from my daughter having emergency surgery. I was like, oh. so I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna process this, I need to go to the store. You best believe I'm getting raisin, raisin bran, popcorn, applesauce, apple juice, what else? All the things I can think of that will help with that. And she is just gonna sit here and drink and cuddle me and love me and... Anyways, I think I need to burn some serious sage. Burn some sage, get, get these bad vibes out because I will not, I will not do this. I will not um, let 2021 bring me down. I'm living purposefully, I'm, in charge of my life, I am in control. Like, I literally was saying affirmations earlier. I was like, in fact, while Palmer was getting her um, her x-ray done, I was doing affirmations with her. I was like, say, I am safe. And she's like crying, I am safe. I'm like, I am healthy, I am strong. We are these things. I'm not, I'm not going back to 2020. 2020 hours, we're always sick. We made it 15 days. You know what, we're gonna do a running total here. Like, you know at a construction site when they're like, it has been three days since our last accident. That's what we're doing now. So we made it 15 days, that was a record. 15 days, let's hope next time we can get a couple more months. <laughs> but anyways, okay, I'm gonna go shower. I'm getting gonna get pizza for the kids. This basically took, what time is it? It's 4.41, this took all day. So I'm gonna go pick up pizza and she, what's wrong? And I'm gonna give my kiddo some much needed attention. Do you wanna come get in the shower? <laughs> What's wrong? Inquiring minds want to know what happened. What's here? You hit your nose? What's here? Oh yeah, the bridge of your nose. You okay? Yeah. I kiss it better. Mwah. Hey, all right. We made it through. What a day this has been and <laughs> in all the ways. It's been a good day, it's been a hard day. It's, it's just been one of those days uh, that we will never forget. Mom went and got some stuff for for her at the store, some raisin bran, stuff that will just really help. Raisin, raisin bran, <laughs> yeah. applesauce, apple juice. All the goods. Everything I could come up with that would help her. Yeah. Egg slacks, mirror lax, like I'm not kidding you. All the laxatives you. that you can even think of, we've got. Because we've got like chocolate gosh. ones, we've got the liquid ones, <laughs> like everything. This is a whole new world for us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what what our afternoon consisted of. The store and just just loving Palmer. Well, just, just watching her really closely her. because yeah. 
every time she went to the bathroom, which was a ton because uh. we're like pumping her with fluid, right? Like he said to pick up Powerades, like all the things. So we're pumping her with liquid. And every time she goes to the bathroom, we're like sitting there like I, watching. I have never super actually, closely. I've never felt so like nervous or like, what's the word? Yeah, I mean, just, I, I just felt uneasy every time that she went to the bathroom. Like, to that be honest, something was gonna yeah. come that's not supposed to come. <laughs> it was traumatic to me. Like, every time I walk in my bathroom, I'm gonna start crying. And I like, I don't think I've used that bathroom since. Like, every time I walk in, I'm like, I'll go use the bathroom in the hall. Like, I feel traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll take a little bit. I just, tonight was in here just straightening up, feeling like very humble. That's the word of the day. Humble. Humble. We are, we are feeling humbled. We are feeling blessed that it's not worse than it is. For because sure. it's not, it, this is something that's totally fine. It's totally, it's something that we can get over and, and help her and, and it won't be a big deal here very soon. So uh, I'm just glad that you guys are here helping us through it and uh, that we have somebody to talk to about with it. Um, about Interesting journey. It. Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's been weird. It's been a weird day. <laughs> and um, yeah, please just send good vibes. Aww. Send good vibes. All the good vibes. Yes. So anyway, tomorrow will be fun. We'll have a good day with the we'll kids. Start another day. Work. And it's just gonna be a fun day. And Maybe we can finish my office. I was gonna say, eventually we probably we'll finish the office. It's guys. almost like a running joke. And tomorrow we get to start over our tally. One day since anybody's been to the doctor. There we go. Starting again. One day. One. We, we, uh, we're, I'm gonna go mark it on that board, on, <laughs> on the whiteboard. One day down, we will not have anybody go to the hospital. So. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. See you later. See you next time.